Lajos Kossuth was born in 1802 in Monok, Hungary, as the eldest of four children. His family was of lower nobility and of modest wealth. His father worked as an attorney for local landowners. As a young man, Kossuth was employed by one of his father's clients, Countess Andrasi, as her voting representative in the county assembly. Later on, he represented Count Hunyadi at the National Diet in Pozsony, Bratislava. In the 1830s, a young generation of Hungarian reformers was developing a radical political platform. Their main agenda was to gain independence from Austria. Kossuth was one of them with his own political philosophy of advanced radicalism. In those days, parliamentary sessions were held behind closed doors and no reporting on the debates was allowed for fear of provoking public dissent against the Austrian government. Despite this, Kossuth decided to issue letters describing the proceedings of the National Diet in Pozsony. After the dissolution of the Diet in 1836, he went on to publish similar records of the Pest County Assembly, but this time he was not protected by parliamentary privilege and was arrested in May 1837. He was detained for 18 months and imprisoned for three years. In 1840, he was granted amnesty. Following his release, he became editor and journalist at Pesti Hirlap, the most influential media of the Hungarian press history and the most important news outlet for the opposition at the time. His beguiling style alarmed the Austrian authorities, Hungarian conservatives, and moderate Hungarian reformers. He also upset Croats and other minorities by his insistence of Hungarian supremacy. As a result, he was dismissed in 1844. Kossuth then founded a society with the objective of developing the Hungarian industry and protecting economic independence. During the 1847-48 diet, he served as a parliamentary delegate of Pest County and tried to win the support of the nobles to implement political and social reforms. Some progress was achieved, but the negotiations reached deadlock over the key issue of political control. On February 23, 1848, a revolution broke out in Paris. When the news reached Hungary, Kossuth rose to the occasion. On March 3rd, he gave a discourse of extraordinary power in which he demanded the end of Viennese absolutism. He stipulated other reforms as well, such as the freedom of the press, suppression of feudal rights and the creation of a national bank and a national army. On March 13, crowds of people demonstrated in Vienna for basic freedoms and the liberalization of the regime.
Kossuth decided to lead a delegation to the Austrian capital, where a panic-stricken court received him. Two days later, on March 15th, Count Lajos Batyány, the new Hungarian Prime Minister, appointed Kossuth as Minister of Finance. This was a dangerous decision, as control of finance, as well as the military, was the chief bone of contention between Austria and Hungary. Soon after, Kossuth introduced the first independent Hungarian currency, Kossuth Banko, and initiated the first budget. Another notable event took place in Pest. Here, on the same day, March 15th, the famed poet Sándor Petőfi recited his fiery poem, National Song, from the stairs of the Hungarian National Museum before thousands of people. This marked the beginning of the revolution against the Habsburg regime. On April 11th, at the Diet in Pozsony, Emperor Ferdinand I approved the April laws, which basically meant recognizing Hungary's independence. Kossuth was elected governor-president of Hungary. His passionate speeches and inspiring rhetoric gained him nationwide popularity and helped to rally the Hungarian people. Despite some early successes, the revolution was ultimately crushed due to ethnic tensions within Hungary and the alliance between the Habsburgs and the Russian Empire. On December the 2nd, Emperor Ferdinand I abdicated so that Austria could escape from the laws and agreements that he had committed to. He was succeeded by his 18-year-old nephew, Franz Joseph. Kossuth fled to Turkey and stayed in exile for the rest of his life. In 1851, Kossuth sailed to the UK and to the United States. He traveled extensively, especially in the United States, where his arrival was expected with great anticipation. He gave speeches trying to recruit supporters for the Hungarian cause and printed the famous Kossuth dollars. His international renown led to his invitation to address the United States Congress. He even met the young Illinois lawyer Abraham Lincoln and addressed the Ohio legislature on February 6, 1852. Sadly, his pleas came too late to bear fruit. However, his passionate and powerful speeches struck a chord with his listeners. Following his visit, streets, squares and even some towns and counties were named after him. His bronze bust stands at the building of the US Congress, honoring Louis Kossuth, father of Hungarian democracy. Further attempts to form a Hungarian legion, this time with the aid of Napoleon III, were ultimately fruitless. Eventually, at the age of 57, Kossuth settled down in Torino, Italy. He 
refused to participate in the negotiations leading to the Austro-Hungarian Compromise of 1867. The agreement, which transformed the Habsburg monarchy into an alliance of two sovereign states, put a complete end to Kossuth's dreams. He remained in exile and was eventually deprived of his Hungarian citizenship due to his prolonged absence. He died in Turin in 1894. Today, Kossuth is remembered as the father of Hungarian democracy and as an advanced reformist fighting for liberty and national self-determination.